Hi everyone! Um, so I'm going to be doing the book tube newbie tag. Um, for those of you who don't know, hi my name is Sarah. Um, I'm just a girl who loves books and who wanted to show her love for books and everything. Um, so let's just get right into the questions. Um, so question number one is why did you start this channel? Um, to be a total cliche, I love reading. I love books. I have a full-length bookshelf back here. Um, I've always loved reading, um, and I've been wanting to start a channel for a while, but I've been a little scared. Anxiety and everything, you know. Um, but yeah, so I've always wanted to start one. Finally got the courage to actually start one. Um, question number two. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Um, I don't really know. Um, I guess I'm just going to try to be me and be the authentically, as authentically um, myself as I possibly can. Um, bring, I'm going to bring my own view on the books that I love and the books that I might not love as much. I hope to just bring my opinions and my love and my joys that I go through with all of these books and how they impact my life. Um, question number three. What are you most excited about for this new channel? Um, definitely one thing is getting to read a lot more books and getting to uh, show you all my books and show you everything that I uh, love and um, just to show you and uh, share with you my love for books and pretty much just books because I love books and I love reading and I love getting to read more and having this channel gives me an excuse to read a lot more than I do. Um, question number four. Why do I love reading? Um... I guess the best way I can describe it, it's like an escape. Um, not that I need to escape my life or reality. It's just a nice way to like, for me, I immerse myself in a book. I imagine myself with the characters and like going through it with them. It's like they're my family. It's like they're, um, their troubles are mine. And so it's kind of an escape from what's happening in the world around me and I get to fully immerse myself in these books and um, I just have always loved reading and that's one of the reasons why. Alrighty, um, question number five. What book or series got you into reading? Um, that would definitely be the first book I ever really picked up. I was in like the third grade so I was like nine which is kind of early but um, I started reading the Harry Potter series by JK Rowling. Now, on this channel, I love Harry Potter, but I do not, do not support J.K. Rowling in any way, what she says, what she believes, anything. I love Harry Potter, but I do not love J.K. Rowling. I support anyone and everyone, and I love anyone and everyone, no matter their gender, their beliefs their sexual orientation, anything. I accept everyone and I do not stand for anything that JK Rowling believes, says, or does. But I hope that you will not go away from this channel saying that I support her in any way. Do I love Harry Potter? Yes. Will I continue to read it? Yes. I have Harry Potter me memorabilia right here because I have loved Hogwarts and I have loved the characters Harry, Ron, Hermione, and all of them. I've loved them for years, and I don't think that will ever stop. I do not support the author, but I love Harry Potter, and I hope that y'all can understand that. Some other that got me into reading was like the Twilight series, the Mortal Instruments series, and like the Hunger Games, the Maze Runner and stuff. And it brought me to 
uh, one of my favorite series, which is right behind me, is the A Court of Thorns and Roses series and the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. Um, number six. What questions would you ask your favorite you booktubers? So, um, some, some questions I would ask them is just like, how do you deal with it all? Like, do you have a job? Do you go to a college or university or wherever in the world that you call it? How do you balance, like, your lives? And how do you have so much time to read? I feel like I'm struggling at, like, 2 in the morning to, like, find some time to read because I have homework and classes and everything. Um, some of my favorite booktubers are, like, Jesse the Reader Emma's books, A Book Utopia, um, those are the ones that I just kind of like have watched for years and have loved and they're the reasons why I've wanted to start this channel. Alrighty, question number seven. Um, what challenges in starting a booktube will be the hardest to overcome? Um, I think a big one is learning to talk to a camera like you're talking to another person. I don't know how I'm doing so far, so let me know in the comments, I guess. Um, I have never talked to a camera like this, and I don't know how I'm doing. I'm currently on my computer, so it's a little better because I can see myself, I guess. Um, hopefully soon I'll be able to get like a camera and actual like equipment. So if it's like bad quality or like you can't see my books, that's why. Hopefully it'll change soon. I'm a broke college kid. Um, another challenge is uploading constantly. I do have a pretty busy life because of college and not all my books are in my dorm. I'm at my house right now so that's another challenge to overcome so it might be a little sparse until I'm on break for Christmas and stuff like that. Question number eight. Um, where do you read? Um, anywhere. Um, my favorite place is either my bed or on a couch, um, with a blanket and I curl up. Another good place is in front of a fire, but I'll read anywhere. I bring a book everywhere. If I'm waiting in a line, if I, um, am in traffic sometimes. Well, that's audiobooks. Um, also, audiobooks are books. Audiobooks are reading. If you're listening to an audiobook, that counts as reading. That's my opinion. Everyone's allowed their own opinions. But that's mine. Um, I listen to audiobooks definitely while I'm driving um, or cleaning or doing something that I don't really want music. Um, and another place that I read is by the pool. Because um, sometimes you just don't want to swim, so you like tanning, and so I read. I read pretty much anywhere. <laughs> um, number nine. When did I start reading? Uh, like the previous question, I started reading when I was in third grade or about nine years old and I started reading the Harry Potter series, which um, all my teachers were like, um, what are you doing? That's like five years ago above your reading level. level. And I finished it, the whole entire series, within like a year. And then I went on to read uh, the Hunger Games, the Maze Runner series, all of those wonderful, wonderful books. And then, granted I did not finish this book, but The Old Man in the Sea by er Ernest, he Ernest Hemingway, Ugh, tongue twister apparently, um, I started reading that in fifth grade, didn't get through it, it's a little, that was a little too hard for me, but I did just recently finish it in my junior year of high school. It was very cool to finally finish that book, but yeah, so I started reading around nine, not a lot of, and then it just snowballed into the person I am today. And then the last question, unfortunately, number 10, is what kind of books do you like to read? Well, um, I enjoy dystopian fiction, some contemporaries, and I truly, truly enjoy high fantasy. Anything, basically a good rule of thumb for me is if it has a map, if I can find it, it has, I've told my parents 
and my grandparents, everyone who will listen, if you want to get me a book, you can be pretty sure I'll like it as long as it has a map in the front cover. And this one has always been my favorite because this beautiful book is my favorite. I love Sarah J. Mass, all of her books. I could not go through a single video without mentioning at least one of her books, or in my case, all of them. And so, put that back. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm not here to get followers. I'm not here to get likes. I'm not here to really do anything other than share my love for books with people who genuinely love books and care about books and who want to maybe learn something about themselves with these books. Um, I hope that I can reach people and that I can share things with people about these books and my views on them and how much I love and care for them. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye.